hey guys, if you are starting your GCSEs this year, then do not think this is just like the year before. This is a really, really important year. Or maybe you're kind of like, you started your GCSEs in year nine and you are going into year 10. Do not think this is a dosh year. Do not think this is gonna be an easy year. It is still super, super important. So don't let there be any topics that you skip. Don't let there be any topics where you walk out of the lesson going, I didn't really get that. Oh, but there's chips at lunch today. Or walk out of the lesson and go, oh, I don't really get that. I'm, I'm not gonna do anything about it. There isn't going to be another chance to go over it for your exams. That is it. That was your one lesson on that one topic. And um, I see this happen a lot in chemistry. I see people like, we do the lesson about balance equations, it comes up right at the beginning. Balance equations is hard. And somehow people coast the whole way through and then we get to like the week before the exams and they go, miss, I can't do balance equations. And I'm like, but we did that nearly two years ago. How, how? It is so, so important that you keep on top of things. Don't let things slide. Don't let there be anything that you don't really understand, but you're just gonna let go. That's not gonna work anymore. Maybe it worked before, but it's not going to work anymore. It is so important that you get into good habits really now. Sorry, can you hear that? Prim, she's chasing birds out the window. She's like, she's too lazy to actually chase birds anymore because, okay, she's not a kitten anymore. She's getting a little bit old and maybe we feed her a little bit too much. And her idea of chasing birds is sitting on my desk behind me, chewing my hair and shouting at the birds, well, shouting at the birds, but chattering at the birds every so often. So if you hear any funny noises, that's her playing in the background. Anyway, what was I saying? Right, it is really, really important that you get into good habits now. So start keeping track of what you're doing. What's she doing now? Oh, she's now playing with pens behind me. Gosh, she's so annoying sometimes. Um, literally, what was I saying? Right, keep track of what you are doing. Um, if there's anything you got, brilliant. If there's anything you kind of didn't really understand, make sure you note it down. Now, to help you do that, I've, I mean, you've probably seen this before. I've written a really, really long revision guide. You can go and download this for free from my website because it is massive. Um, then Amazon will print it out for you. I've done it for loads and loads of different specifications. A load more specifications are gonna come out really, really quickly. And don't think just because you've done something once, that's enough. You can just do it and then stop doing it. You need to go back over and over and over and over things. And I'm not talking about loads and loads and loads. I'm talking about kind of like little and often. Um, so to help you do this, again, there's a revision guide to Lisa from my website. There's quizzes over my website so you can just like, just check that you know stuff. Go back and it's gonna take you like five minutes to go and do a whole of a topic, or revise a whole of a topic. Revise it every other month from now until the exams and you're gonna know what the answers are. So just, I'm trying to help you out as much as I can. I don't know your GCSEs feel like a really, really long way away at the moment, but they're not, I promise. You need to start thinking about what are your high priority and what are your low priority subjects. So obviously English and maths are gonna be your high priority subjects. You have to redo those if you don't get grades. And employers, universities are gonna expect to see good grades in those subjects. And then start, I don't mean make their own decisions, I mean make general decisions about maybe what you want to do at A level or what you want to do in the future because those are also gonna be your high priority subjects. So these are the ones that you really need to get the good grades in. And then there are gonna be your low priority subjects, and I know some teachers are actually gonna hate me for saying this, but um, there are gonna be some subjects where you just had to pick one to make up the numbers, and you don't actually like it, you didn't want to doing it, but the school's making you do it. Those are your low priority subjects. You don't have to study or revise for much as those subjects as you do for maths. When you're making your revision timetable, remember to give more time to the high priority subjects and less time to the low priority subjects. But also remember to schedule in time for things that you enjoy, things that make you you. Things that are going to help you relax when it comes to really, really stressful when it comes to exams. Things like doing exercise, things like seeing your friends. As well as making your revision timetable now, you need to start revising now um you need to start doing some flashcards so like every lesson go home and spend 10 minutes making flashcards from that lesson or make a mind map from that lesson stuff that you can use a year down the line 18 months down the line when you're actually coming to revise for your exams because the more prepared you are now the 
easier things will be for you in year 11. So good luck guys, um, it's a really really exciting time, um, I'm going to be here with you the whole way through, probably through GCC, the whole way through your A level, good luck. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.